Hello guys, this is Shivam and you are watching the 7th tutorial of the series of data analysis using Python. In this tutorial, we will just implement the Plotly library. The Plotly is very interactive and very beautiful library for data visualization. And with the help of Plotly, we can create very interactive and very beautiful plot. So first of all, we will see what Plotly is. Plotly is actually an API and uh, it is used for for extraordinary graphs like you can see. You can see it is used for very extraordinary and very beautiful graphs. So first of all what you need to do you can see, the, see these graphs these are very interactive graphs. You can see first of all what you need to do to, to make such kind of graphs using Plotly you need to register on the on the Plotly API, plot.ly, http. Dot, you, you need to go on this website, plot.ly, and you need to register on that. Either you can use the, the, the API over here, or you can use it over in the Python as well. So we will be using this Python, and when you log in, then you get your credentials. You get your credentials, and those credentials are needed for for visualizing like like you see that all the graphs that I have built so far are just here stored here and you can see all those are very very beautiful graphs and we will be creating these uh, uh, graphs using the Python so so now we will be just I'll just also show you some more things like this is the settings page for Plotly and uh, you need to to check on the API keys this is your username you will be need, you will be needing it and this is the API key you need it and to register it and this, these are the tokens so so basically it is an API and we will be using it in Python so now the code I have already written and I will show you the various graphs that we can plot using the same data set the iris data set and let's see how so first of all we just need to put our credentials here so I have just written my credentials my username and my password for plotly API and so let's see let's now I will import the basic libraries like such as pandas and OS and the plotly library and then I will then I have uh, set the home work directory with the desktop where my data iris is stored now the next step is to is to set credential file so we can do this by the plotly.tools.set credentials file command and we just need to give two arguments over here such as the username username is the same username that you have obtained from your api and that, that is the in my case that is data geek and the api key you can you, can, you have also an api key which you will get from there so so now you have to set up the credentials so I have set the credentials now the next step is to load the data set so you can load the data set and I will convert it to a data frame so I have loaded the data set so now let's see let's again see how the data set is so this is the data set and we will be just plotting very beautiful and interactive graphs using the so you can see that there are four columns for petal length, sepal length, petal width, sepal width and one class that is the spaces variable so now we will just import another two uh, libraries another two functions of plotly package like import Plotly dot plotly as pi and uh, and graph objects as go. So now first of all we will just create a histogram. First of all we will just create a histogram. So and to create a histogram we will be creating a histogram for the petal dot length column. And just we have just did uh, what we just did is is uh, we just uh, used the graph object objects for the plotly and then we asked for the histogram and then we 
give it the, the column or the variable that we just want to plot the histogram so now we just set the labels we just give the title and we just set the title x axis title and y axis title and in the next step what we just did we just we just plot the graph so now let's see how the graphs look like so so this is the simple code for creating a beautiful histogram using the plotly so you can see this is the histogram that we have just built with the with the following code there is nothing in this code we have just imported two uh, two functions of the plotly dot plotly and dot graph objects and just we just tell the graph objects to plot a histogram of this of this variable and then we just set the layout in the layout we just give the title we just give the x axis we just give the y axis title and then we just plain print the output chart so 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 this is the histogram for the sample length and you can see the y axis represents the count and the x axis represents the sample length so so these are the very interactive graphs you can see that we have just created and you can see that there is also a download option download this graph as a png file and we can also hover over these there are various options that we can use so so this is the very interactive graphs now now in the next we will again create a histogram using the sample length using the sample length the same line of code is there and we have just changed the y variable the x variable and we have just changed the the column in case of battle length we have just given the sample length we have just given the let us just this is the same so let us just give the battle length and battle length battle battle length so so let us just plot this graph so in the last in the previous histogram we just plotted a sample length histogram and here we have plotted a battle length histogram so you can see but these are looking the same over here so, so this is what we have done is battle dot So here, here you can see that we have just created a one more histogram with the same line of code. We just change, we just change the the variable, the 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 column for the for the data frame. We just we change it to petal width, and and the same line of code. We just change the title of this. We just change the x label. We just change the y label, and this is the layout. And then we just plot it using the py dot i plot fit command so so this is the the basic histogram and you can see the how interactive and how beautiful it is it is just showing everything and you can see that it is very interesting so now in the next step we will be just creating a bar chart bar chart here the same line of code we will be using the same thing is over here what we just need to do we just need to tell the graph object that this time we are plotting a bar chart not a hist like we did before not a histogram and we just bar pl bar plot and we want the x axis to be this and y axis to be the spaces if i if spaces is equal to iris centosa if spaces is equal to iris versicolor and species is equal to iris virginica and so so we have just given the x variable and the y variable and we are just going to plot a bar plot and then we set the layout and then we just plot the command so now let's do it and see how the graph looks like so here you can see that uh, this is the this is the count of the iris dataset of the species command now 
you can see that in this graph we have just said that set the x axis equal to Santosa vesicular virginica and I want the y variable y variable to be I just want it to be when a species is equal to iris Santosa I just want the y variable to be like this and when it is species is equal to versicolor and when a species is equal to virginica so then I just dis define the x and y variable and this is the output of the graph so it just shows that the, the versicular and virginica are 50 in numbers and the count for the Sentosa species is 49. Now in the next step we will just create a box plot and uh, to create a box plot we will just uh, we will just define the y axis y axis to be we have just tell the gra graph objects that go dot box we want a box plot and here are the here are the three uh, three y axis and you just three three uh, columns for y axis and you just do the you just consider the species column and when it is equal to iris centosa sepal length i just want to create a box plot of sepal length for the three different species and now i said i just set the layout of the of the box plot and then i just print it and now you will see a box plot of the different spaces of sepal length now you can see the y axis represents the sepal length and the x axis represents the various spaces three spaces and you can see here we have the different and very beautiful and interactive graph like you can see it is showing the minimum value it is showing the maximum value it is showing the the mean in the same way for all of these three spaces and there are the labels you can see and how much interactive it is so you can see the simple line of code generates a very beautiful graph so now we will create a bar plot and to bar plot we just said that we just want a bar plot graph objects dot bar and in the same way like we did before we just said that we just want the three different columns three different columns three different categories of plot and one for Sentosa, one for versicular one for virginica and then we just set the layout in the same way the code is almost similar for all of the graphs but we just need to change the x variable and y variable and the go dot chart name so this is the thing and now let us just load the bar plot so So this is the output for the bar plot. So you can see how much interactive it is. From the legend you can identify which species it, it is. And you can see that the number of observations are up to 50 and up to 49 for this case. Sentosa. Yes, Sentosa. It is blue. And you can see that how much interactive it is. You can see every data point in a single graph and see how interactive it is so you have just created a sample length and you can just see that here is a sample length in here is a sample length in in centimeters so you can see that how interactive it is in the same way like just you created with the sample length you can create it with petal length with the sample width with the petal width and and in the same way you can visualize all of the different variables of the iris data set and so now in the not ne in the in the next and the last chart we will just create a line chart for all of these three spaces and the same line of code is there the same line of code is there but uh, i just uh, need we, we we just need to change the the type of graph over here just we, we just need to change that instead of line plot or instead of bar plot you just create a scatter plot this time so let us now just run it and see how the scatter plot looks like so so this is the output for the scatter plot you can see that the scatter plot and I just gave this scatter plot to the 
So this represents the scatter plot and you can see how interactive it is. You can see how the sepal length is changing, changing with the number of observations. You can see the data labels existing, data labels existing and this looks very beautiful and interactive. So now let's generate it for battle length. Let's see what happens and how the things change. So we just need to change the types of and now let's see. So, so now we have created a line chart or a scatter chart with the line and this is the distribution of battle length this is the distribution of battle length and you can see how these are changing in case of all of these three three species of flowers so you can see that the battle length is changing how it is changing so these are the very beautiful graphs that you can create with the help of plotly api so now let us just summarize that what different graphs just we, we just put over here so let's see we just uh, need the credentials the, like the username and password to set up the api access and uh, then we just imported the basic libraries that we will be needing in this tutorial like plotly pandas and os to change the the directory where the data set is lot is located now we just set the credential files we just set an access or a kind of kind of uh, association with our python and the plotly api and then we just loaded the data set we just try to examine the data set and then we just try to plot first of all we created a histogram histogram for the pattern length with the simple line of code and see how interactive it is then again we created a, a histogram for petal width and then in the next chart we just created a bar chart for all of these three spaces to see the number of counts of these spaces and in the next plot we just created a box plot which was quite interactive and you can see that how the sepal length for the three different species are distributed so and then in the next plot we just created a bar plot for the, all of these three species and see how these things are distributed you can see the interactiveness of these graphs and now in the last we created a line chart or a scatter chart and you can see the, how interactive it is so basically this was the plotly package and you can see how beautiful and user friendly and interactive graphs we can build with the help of plotly so this is the the different types of plots we can plot with plotly I hope this video you get something and thanks for watching please like and subscribe thanks